YouTube, how are you now? Sean here from the EDC Den. Welcome back to the channel, one and all. Ladies and gentlemen, today we are looking at some case knives, specifically the case trapper. So we've got three examples of the case trapper here. This one here with the blue jig bone, you've seen that one on the channel a few times for anybody who's returning to the channel. You're probably familiar with this one. This was my first case knife. I got this one maybe six or seven years ago and I've since added two more case trappers to the collection. So in the middle, we've got the yellow synthetic smooth trapper. And just over here, we've got the black double canvas laminated trapper. All three of these knives are in cases true sharp stainless steel as opposed to their CV steel. The Trapper is just a fantastic traditional pattern. It is one of my favorites, probably my top favorite actually, and Case does do them quite well. So let's take a look at these. We won't spend too much time on this one since, like I said, it's on, been on the channel before. You can go back and check out some other videos to find this one. Just a great traditional EDC knife all around. On Case's website, they do mention that this knife is for everyday use, um, hunting, farming, and camping. So they actually break it down per blade, actually. So the clip blade that we have here, they consider this an everyday blade and a camping blade. Over here with the spay blade, they consider this one everyday use. Uh, farming use and hunting. So this was not my first traditional knife, but it was my first case knife and it did kind of kick off my case collection, which you guys have seen before. This smooth yellow synthetic, this one just made a, a really quick cameo in a recent video, but we haven't taken a close look at it yet. So these two here, I, I recently got off eBay. You guys know that I, I found an eBay shop that was having a really big sale on case knives. So I did pick up a few case knives and these two trappers were part of that. So they are new to me. I haven't used them yet. This blue one here, that's gonna to continue to be my, my main user. And these guys are just gonna sit in the collection for now. I got this at a really fantastic price. I think it was $35 Canadian. That means my American friends are probably finding these in the 20 to $25 range. And I just cannot recommend this knife enough in that price range. You may not get the bone handles, but this smooth synthetic is really nice. It's nice to the touch. It looks great. It has a traditional look to it. Just don't think you can go wrong for 20 or $30. Another little difference on this synthetic version is we have, it almost looks like a patina starting on a CV blade, but this is just a stainless blade that has not been polished, I believe. So over here, we've got the synthetic that's going to be a little bit cheaper than the bone covers. And here we've got a blade that's not polished. So that's another step in the process that they're saving. Uh, that's going to bring down the price a little bit and contribute to the overall low cost of this particular version of the Trapper. All of these have a really nice fit and finish. Nice centering, no rubbing. Centering's not perfect, but there's no rubbing. Everything's so nice and smooth on this one. This one here, the double canvas, we have not seen this one on the channel yet. Really nice shield on this one. Is that one called the hot dog shield? It definitely resembles a hot dog a bit. I think that's a little nickname for that style of shield. So double canvas, I'm not sure where the double comes in, but the canvas, we can see this kind of fibrous material as the handle cover. I'm thinking this is what Case calls their micarta double laminated canvas. Looks to me like a version of micarta. Please let me know in the comments if you have more information about this cover material. 
It is quite smooth. You do see that in traditional knives quite often when they use micarta. It's completely hard and smooth, almost plastic-like. You can feel, you might just be able to pick up a little bit of texture there, but for the most part, it is completely smooth. This one has the blades polished, unlike the yellow synthetic, but this one also has the polished blade. Let's take a quick look at the polished blade versus the unpolished. So on the top we have the unpolished blade. It almost has a tumbled kind of stonewashed look. And on the bottom is the polished version of the same blade, same steel. These two newer ones here, they both have kind of rough edges and that is typical of case knives. It's quite easy to take care of the rough edge with just a ceramic stone. I'll try and show you what I'm talking about here with this little kind of microfiber cloth. So if I move the blade back and forth, you can see it actually sticking and picking up the cloth. So the cloth is getting stuck in the little teeth and I can actually lift the cloth with the little teeth from the blade. Whereas if we do the same thing with a blade that does not have those little micro serrations, of course it will not pick up the rag. Just use this cold steel knife that I have here. Even if I try and work the edge into the fibers of the cloth, it doesn't pick it up. It's nice and smooth. That's not the end of the world that a case knife shows up like that. Some people prefer that as a working edge. It does cut in nicely to things like rope and material. If you'd rather have that smoothed out, like I said, you can just take that down with some ceramic stones. Please let me know in the comments which one you prefer. If you like to go with the bone covers or the synthetic or something like the canvas over here. And what about the trapper pattern in general? Are you guys trapper guys? I'm certainly a trapper guy. I think for me it's a competition in my collection between trappers and stockmans. I think I'm going to do that video actually. Trapper versus Stockman's. Which one do I have more in the collection? In my heart of hearts, I'm a Trapper guy. I may have approximately the same amount of Stockman's, but we'll go through the collection, we'll lay them all out, and we'll do a, a tally, see which one I do have more of, and we'll see if I'm actually a Trapper guy or not. Again, I highly recommend the Trapper pattern if you're just getting into the traditional scene. It's just a, you know, to me, it's just a true version of a jackknife. It's got two blades that come out of the same end. Just definitely has that traditional feel to it. Has a good heft so you know it's in your pocket when you're carrying it. And these can also be carried in a sheath. And I should have mentioned this earlier, but the eBay store that I bought these from, you know, it was a big sale. They were going out of business and the gentleman included some free case badges and sheaths for the trapper. So let me just go grab a sheath so I can show you guys that. So here's one of the patches that was thrown in to the order and also a case trapper sheath. So he included this with um, each purchase of a trapper. So I thought that was a pretty nice touch. I think I'm going to keep this one packaged up. You never know if this might end up in a giveaway on the channel one day. So we'll just set that aside for now. Okay, everyone, that'll do it for today. We'll see you real soon in the next video. Take care, everybody.